Baroque Architecture Style of the Roman Catholic Church This is a conceptual imaginary architectural design and animation inspired by the historical style of Baroque architecture. There was a conglomeration of factors that led to the presence of Baroque elements in the architectural buildings, specifically in church architecture. The historical phenomenon of colonization began with the Age of Discovery, led by the Portuguese, and then by the Spanish exploration of the Americas, the coasts of Africa, Southwest Asia which is also known as the Middle East, India, and East Asia. The Portuguese and Spanish empires were the first global empires because they were the first to stretch across different continents, covering vast territories around the globe. Between 1580 and 1640, the two empires were both ruled by the Spanish monarchs in personal union. Spanish missionaries arrived in their newly discovered colonies, sharing not only their religion but also their architecture, inspired by their native land. The Spaniards wished to create permanent, long-lasting churches as a testament to the power of God. The Baroque style of architecture was a result of doctrines adopted by the Catholic Church at the Council of Trent in 1545-63, in response to the Protestant Reformation. The first phase of the Counter-Reformation had imposed a severe, academic style on religious architecture, which had appealed to intellectuals but not the mass of churchgoers. The Council of Trent decided instead to appeal to a more popular audience and declared that the arts should communicate religious themes with direct and emotional involvement. Similarly, Lutheran Baroque art developed as a confessional marker of identity, in response to the great iconoclasm of Calvinists. Baroque churches were designed with a large central space, where the worshippers could be close to the altar, with a dome or cupola high overhead, allowing light to illuminate the church below. The dome was one of the central symbolic features of Baroque architecture illustrating the union between the heavens and the earth. The inside of the cupola was lavishly decorated with paintings of angels and saints, and with stucco statuettes of angels, giving the impression to those below of looking up at heaven. Another feature of Baroque churches is the quadratura, tromploi paintings on the ceiling in stucco frames, either real or painted, crowded with paintings of saints and angels and connected by architectural details with the balustrades and consoles. Quadratura paintings of Atlantis below the cornices appear to be supporting the ceiling of the church. Unlike the painted ceilings of Michelangelo in the Sistine Chapel, which combine different scenes, each with its own perspective, to be looked at one at a time. The Baroque ceiling paintings were carefully created so the viewer on the floor of the church would see the entire ceiling in the correct perspective as if the figures were real. The Baroque church is a design that has important cultural significance and influence on future architectural designs specifically the Catholic religion. The churches display certain characteristics that express a fortress Baroque, such as thick walls and high facades that offer protection from marauders and natural disasters alike. Since Catholic churches established a style of building and design that was adapted to the physical conditions in the regions where it was built which had an important influence on later church architecture in these countries. In the former colonies and territories of the Spanish and Portuguese empires including the Iberian Peninsula it continued, together with new styles, until the first decade of the 19th century. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, or subscribe.